Okay, so I went and grabbed another topping material. This is also, uh, this is actually Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so it'll go good with the cab that we have over there. Uh, I smelled it already. It smells pretty good. And I uh, took a sample, but I have not tasted it yet. Mm, that is delicious. It's, this is an 09. It's really young, but it's also really good. So, now that we've identified uh, quality topping material, hook it up to our air pump. It's really important that anything that goes into a keg or a barrel is completely sterile always. So, I've got some. 100% alcohol here. Kill any guys that might be hiding on there. And uh, the inside of these these uh, tubes has already been sterilized. Um, so, get steel there. And then so get the other end of this is kind of like a gas pump or something. Turn it on. Okay, now we want to clean the lines, and if there's any water or anything inside the line, we just have to make sure to get that out. So we unfortunately are going to have to waste a tiny bit of line. There's anything in the line that's been cleaned up, so everything in this line is now just pure wine, all sterile, so nothing's touching it, nothing's in here except for the wine. So. Okay, the final step, now that we've topped all the barrels, all we have to do is replace it with some fresh bums and rinse the barrels off to get all the wine off that might have gotten all over it during topping. And finally, we're just going to spray it with a little bit of the SO2 solution uh, to kill any bacteria that's hanging around. Alright, let's do it. So you can see a little bit of wine leaked out the top because it spilled all the way up. So just got to make sure that there's no wine on the barrel because uh, wine outside the barrel is an excellent place for the bacteria to grow. And we don't want it on our floor either, so we're going to have to wipe this all up afterwards.
One thing that's really nice about the setup we have here at Deerfield is we've got these drains everywhere. So this work environment can get pretty much totally soaked and we can dry it off really quickly. We don't want there to be too much uh, moisture because it's a, you know, it promotes the growth of molds. But we try to keep, we have uh, dehumidifiers so the environment actually stays very dry in here. Um, but we'll squeegee this up afterwards. Get this SO2. have been topped. They're all done. Probably good for another couple months. So just remember, you learned how to top a barrel on Cellarat TV. We'll see you next week.